Alexei. I'm the CEO of Beyond Home. I appreciate being here, especially since most of the products I saw I want to use, so it's really a selfish reason. But I'm glad to present what Beyond is doing. So just start a little survey here. How many of you own a home security system? Raise your hands. Okay. And how many of those people actually activate your security system? That's just not true. <laughs> so according to ADT, less than 20% own a security system. So that's pretty accurate. But less than a third of those people actually regularly activate their security system. So why is that? They're expensive, they're stressful, they're prone to false alarms. Uh, nobody wants to be the jerk with the car alarm going off in the parking lot, which is why people don't activate their system often. So with all of this amazing technology that's out there, it's not getting into homes to solve the number one problem that people associate with their homes, which is safety and security. The problem is not the availability of technology. The problem is the delivery mechanism of that technology. That's where we're letting people down. And that's what we're solving at Beyond. So this is the Beyond Home Protection System. It's shipping in July. I encourage everyone to purchase this product. <laughs> Why? Why should I buy this product? I may need volunteers, so get ready. I have a lot of things I need to do up here. Can anyone hear me okay? Is that loud enough? So the way we're solving this problem is to deliver security and safety in the simplest possible consumer electronic product in existence, the light bulb. Everybody can do this. This is where the this is your security system. You plug the module in, the light turns on, and I have three of these here. The light turns on because there's a battery inside. The battery makes it so this system works even during a power outage. You'll see that some of the lights here will start to fade. I'll show you this one. The reason it fades slowly is because every time you turn your light switch, this light will guide you across the room or up the stairs so you're no longer stumbling around in darkness like a zombie. It's cool to the touch because it's LED. This is the best LED light bulb out there, 800 lumens of beautiful, warm light, and it's energy efficient, so it's saving you money. The system is actually paying for itself. The other thing the system does, from a safety point of view, sorry, hold on a second. provides instant exit lighting to get out of the house in the event of a smoke or a fire alarm. So in those precious moments, those critical moments when there's a fire, gives you immediate lighting to get out of the house. Is it all clear? Say that everything's set. When you install the light bulbs, they actually start learning your lighting behavior and they pay, play it back while you're on vacation. So kind of like a DVR for your lighting, when you go away on vacation, it makes it look like you're still at home. So it learns through the natural use of your light switch, just your regular everyday life, it learns your lighting behavior, it plays it back while you're on vacation. You can actually preview what that looks like. With the app here, you can actually preview that lighting. Fast forward it so the lights, some of you in the back may not be able to see this, but the lights can actually turn on and off to simulate each room what it looks like. So let me show you the last thing. Lighting is the number one security deterrent. It's highly effective. So just like we listen to the smoke alarm, you, 
can also listen to doorbell. So if an intruder rings your doorbell to check to see if you're home, they may check twice. <laughs> they may even move the doorbell alarm closer to the door. <laughs> Well, what should what happened in the 30 times that I tried this before coming up here <laughs> was the light turns on in the bedroom, and then it turns on in the hallway, and then it turns on the, in the entranceway to make it look like you're at home when you're not. So very, very compelling. Even the most drugged out intruder always does the doorbell check to see if someone's at home. So that's the function of the product. I think I'm running out, out of time. I think I'm running out of faulty demos. <laughs> But let me tell you a little bit, just real quickly, about the design principles that went into this. There's no rewiring required. This works with your existing light switches. It feeds a new trend towards prevention. So right now it takes uh, 17 minutes for police to respond to a home intrusion. Uh, and that's actually getting worse. They're actually requiring video confirmation now uh, uh, before they'll actually respond. So there's a trend now towards prevention rather than reaction. It doesn't do me a lot of good to get a high definition video of my place getting trash sent to me on my iPhone. I'd rather it not happen in the first place. So this is a trend. All the experience I showed you are, are based on familiar experiences, emergency lighting. If there's a fire at your child's school, there'll be emergency lighting, there'll be exit lighting to get them out of the school. These are things that you should have at home. It just makes sense. So we built all of these experiences off of very common associations and fundamental associations that people have uh, with, with light, uh, including even the fade out. When you get out of your car, the light, the light slowly fades, get you out of, that, out of the car safely. We do that each time with the light switch. So these are very familiar experiences. That's why it resonates with our customer base. Uh, and that's uh, that's uh, why we've sold $120,000 in pre-orders. <laughs> Questions? So I don't rob homes, so I might not have the mind of someone who's like that. But I would think that once systems like this became more uh, common, then maybe people would use another means to determine someone's home besides the lights being on. I don't know if there's some sort of thermal vision system you can use to see if people are in the home or something. Yes. But I would think, are you concerned about the long-term maybe uh, prevention mechanism given that you know it's a trick that you can only fool someone maybe a few times with? Yeah, so this is very effective. It captures the thing that people care about the most, which is protection during the night. A lot of our customers uh, compare it to the bump in the night experience. They like to they hear a bump in the night. What do people do? They get up, they turn the lights on one by one to see if they're <coughs> there. This will actually simulate that for you. So it creates the look of occupancy. We have customers tell us when my husband's traveling uh, or when uh, my roommates are out of the home, uh, I like the peace of mind it gives me when I go to sleep and I know uh, that it looks like someone uh, somewhere is there. So uh, the system is upgradable. So our intention is to sell uh, modules that create new effects. So for example, if they figure out the lighting, now they walk up, they ring the doorbell, and they see the light come on in the bedroom, and they hear footsteps. They see another light come on, they hear baby crying. They see another light come on, and they hear a shotgun cocking. You can customize this to be as aggressive as you want. So the system continually gets better, it continually improves, uh, and that's how we'll address that issue, is to keep getting smarter, to keep getting more intelligent. And really, all of these experiences I showed you are really given to us by our, by our customers, by talking to them, by having them tell, tell us what kind of features they want to see. I think you might have already said this, but what's the price point for what we're passing through right now? So it's $239 for the base system, uh, $199 if you pre-order <laughs> between now and uh, July. It's, um, uh, and we've kept that pricing pr uh, pretty steady uh, throughout the existence. It's seen as very affordable compared to a, uh, a traditional security system. Uh, you know, we designed it for the 80% of people that own security systems or the 15% the that do own a security system but don't activate it. Uh, but what we found is that actually dealers love it. And uh, they love it because their customers 
love the idea of adding a first layer of protection to their home. And obviously, they love the idea of selling that first layer of protection to their home. So we're selling both direct and we're selling to deal, uh, through dealer channels as well. So the pricing, I point that out because the pricing point, if your pricing is different on the dealer side, you sell it more on a, on a monthly basis rather than a, a one-time or price. price. I don't know who was first, so. Is there an API? Yeah, there will be. And in fact, what we'd like to do is we'd like to make a module that's specific. It's a security system, right? So we need to be very careful about uh, opening it up too early. We just want to deliver a singular experience that works really, really well out of the gate. Uh, we're thinking of actually making a not just a, an API, but a, a module that goes with it that allows you to plug in and tap into a whole system uh, and create new experiences and tinker around with it. So we do intend to do that. Does it, does it detect carbon monoxide? Well, as smoke. That's it. So, can it then connect to the fire department directly? Yeah. So right now, it just listens for the the smoke uh, alarm. So it listens to the alarm. You train it to listen to the alarm, and then it turns the lights on. It doesn't actually detect the gas. Okay. But absolutely, we want we want to add that in the future. Um, one thing we're developing right now with uh, partners in the security industry is an interoperability module. So uh, built on Z-Wave. So. You put the Z-Wave module in, and now when your smoke alarms actually sense smoke, it can activate the system directly rather than just listening <coughs> to, our, to our, own, uh, our own bypass. But th the other thing with carbon, so hold on one second. The other really cool application we're thinking about with carbon monoxide is you put one of these bulbs over your furnace, which is the source of CO, and then you put another one in your bedside lamp, or even better, in your kid's bedside lamp, so that before the carbon monoxide permeates throughout the home, you get immediate notification uh, that there could be a problem. You can also trace the history, and that is an early indicator, warning sign that, there's some, that the furnace could be failing. So all kinds of cool things we can do. Uh, and that's why we made it modular, so that we continue to improve the system. Last question. So have you thought about using it as a monitoring system for like seniors, you know, so if they're not moving, that you can... Uh... You know, I may change the entire business model for every single time I get that question, because it's, a, it's an absolutely great application. Uh, what we'd like to do is add a cellular module so that uh, it, when you're visiting uh, grandma and grandpa, you install these bulbs during your visit. Uh, it's a nice non-intrusive way to check in and just get a notification that, hey, grandpa's up, moving around, turning on the same light he turns on within a five-minute window every single day. Uh, so it's a good, good non-intrusive way of doing that. It's definitely on a roadmap, definitely something we want to do.